As you can see from the title, I'm an Irish actor, and today I'm going to be reacting to Wild Mountain Time, the trailer. So let's get into it. Also, 71.6% of you guys are not subscribed. What are you doing? You're breaking an Irish girl's heart. Hit that subscribe button and I'll send you Irish luck and all that good stuff. Okay, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Welcome to Ireland. Once upon a time. Okay, can we just say, isn't Ireland beautiful? By God, I live in a beautiful country. That's all. Moving on. There were two farms. The Maldoon farm where Rosemary lived and right down the road was my farm, where my son Anthony asked his lonely question of the stars. Why, why does it have to be in Ireland and on the farm? Do you know what I mean? Loads of people in Ireland don't live on a bloody farm. Like, we live in houses in cities. There's actually cities here and we have shops like Topshop. We don't all live in farms and we're not called Rosemary. We're called Blonid and Afric and Sean and things like that. At least pick Irish names. Like, Jesus, if you're going to go all in, go all in. We'll move on. I see he's about to look out at the stars. That we do do. Why did you make me so? Rosemary Muldoon. Yeah! Besotted with love. There's these green fields, and there's us. She fell in love with them as soon as he hit the horse's arse and she went into the sunset. Oh, Jesus. Right, let's keep going. Whatever that is, it holds me here. Whatever that is, it holds me here. Any Irish person looking at this is just going to be like, oh, God. Don't, don't overdo it. Just talk like a normal Irish person. We're not all going, Hi, sir. good morning to you there now. And getting into the field in wild mountain time. No, dialect coaches, come on. You're getting paid well. Do right. I can't wait to hear... Mrs. Blunt. Let's get into it. Oh, and he says those things. It's not normal. I don't... Just as I expected. Oh, and he says those things. I don't care. You take after John Kelly, and that man was mad as the full moon. Drowned himself. He fell in. He had a rock tied to his neck. Rosemary, we're known to each other quite the while now. But you marry me. <laughs> we wouldn't propose to a donkey. We wouldn't be practicing. We wouldn't just be like, oh, the donkey there will practice proposing to the donkey. Like maybe a sheep, but not a donkey, you like, get right. Are you going to leave the farm to Anthony? I don't see a clear path. From where to where? From me to you. From My cousin is coming. What do you think? It's the finest car I've ever seen. Get out for the farm to an American. I'm waiting for that one. What are you waiting for? Me, I don't wait. I do like that. You should come to New York sometime. I just love how they're kind of falling over so much in the trailer because you know obviously Ireland's very hilly like so you'd be falling over that's all we do we talk to donkeys and we fall over all the time do you know but it is true we do actually have metal detectors and that is a daily activity that we look for gold and stuff like you know like that's not weird 
Anthony will never marry. If it comes to that, I'll freeze my eggs. You should freeze your whole body if you're waiting for that one. Freeze your body. We never had a dream since you were a child, and you couldn't let it go. So you put this gate between us. Has your dream made you happy or miserable? You kissed him! It was he that kissed me! That's what's got him worked up! I don't understand you people. Why do you make everything so hard? You just seem to accept these... The American sounds American, as far as accents go. I can't believe she's cheating on him. This is juicy. Harsh. It's crazy things. I don't like a fight. Well, who does? Half of Ireland, just not me. If my true love, he were gone, I would surely find another. Oh, Anthony, God. time is running out. Oh, what is love? Is it a quest? What are you doing? A madness. How many days do we have while the sun shines? It's not shining. How many days I do we have that it the is. sun shines? Will you call a go? Let me just get my thoughts together for, for a second. So what I'm getting from the trailer for Wild Mountain Time is Irish people all live in farms. We all talk to the donkey and practice like chatting to women. We fall over a lot. We go off with American men, come back to the Irish man and say here, the sun's shining right now. There seems to be a bit of drama coming up in this movie. Like, this is a bit wild for your typical Irish farm. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure if all this drama is typical. Like, I wouldn't be coming to Ireland thinking, Jesus, those farmers are going to be full of drama. Overall, I have to, like, you could see throughout the accents. Can we please just get a good dialect coach for all of these actors in movies? They're spending multi millions of dollars and they can't get them to speak properly. In Ireland, there's so many dialects. For such a small country, we have a, a huge amount of different accents throughout the country. So you have loads of options to get it right. Not, not one of those accents was believable. So all I'd say is any dialect coaches out there, just focus on one accent and just get them to try and do it right. Represent the Irish people. No, we don't all talk like this and we're all going around in the farms. Shocking, shocking. Other than that, it seems full of drama which is always good for an old rom-com. So I think I will watch this, you know, when it comes out. I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to see how else they depict me and my people in Ireland. Overall, is this offensive to Irish people? No, because we take everything with a pinch of salt here and we're used to being looked at like that. So it's fine. We'll get over it. You're grand. Not a problem. But... Do you know, it probably would help to work on the accents. Just, just a little bit. Just, just brush up on them. A tiny bit. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button to see more videos of me reacting to other trailers and movies and TV shows. And let me know what other things you'd like me to react to in the comments below. Other than that... I'll see you in my next video. Bye.